All existing Tridonic DALI emergency drivers and light engines can be used to build up wireless emergency systems. Regarding the used components a distinction can be made between dedicated and combined emergency luminaires. Depending on the integration of the DALI power supply in the emergency driver the passive or active basic DIM wireless module is used as a node to enable wireless communication within the luminaire. The basic DIM wireless DALI gateway on side of the Syncom EVO DA2 enables the connection between the wired and the wireless network. First let's have a look into the setup of a dedicated wireless emergency luminaire using the EM Ready 2 apply surface mounted. As a wireless gateway the basic DIM wireless active module is installed into the luminaire housing as the emergency driver has no integrated DALI power supply. The luminaire housing offers enough space for this installation. A second example let's take a look at a combined emergency luminaire which consists of an LED driver for general lighting, the EM converter LED with integrated DALI power supply and the basic DIM wireless passive module. First of all it's necessary to create a network with all emergency devices of the system. To do this open the 4Remote BT app and navigate to create network. Due to the DALI gateway function it's essential to choose the evolution network type. Type in your network name and do all the necessary settings. It's important to know that it's not possible to change the radio settings and frequencies afterwards. All other settings are changeable at a later point. Now add all included luminaries except the DALI gateway to the network. Depending on the use case and later needs in some cases it makes sense to create a scene with the devices we want to control in the future. For this particular example it's not needed as we only want to control and read emergency information from all listed luminaries. In the second step configure a passive module as DALI gateway. To do this it's necessary to power an unpaired passive device. Brand new devices, like in this example are already unpaired. After this is done the device shows up in the nearby devices section of the app. Tap on this device and choose change profile. In this appearing list select the DALI gateway profile. In the next step pair the DALI gateway device with the network. Now this device is ready to be used as DALI gateway. In the last step choose your DALI gateway settings. Navigate to the gateway section of the more tab. If everything has worked as expected the DALI gateway is listed in the section control devices. Now choose this device to get to the DALI gateway settings. In general there are only a few parameters to configure. The control scope defines what has to be transferred to the DALI line, in the shown example it's all luminaries. If it's necessary to control only a part of the network it's possible to gather these luminaries in a separate scene to display only the luminaries of this scene on the DALI line. Next is the setup of the control priority. Depending on this setting commands from the DALI bus are handled with higher or lower priority. Tridonic's recommendation is to select the setting manual. 
In this setting DALI is prioritized as high but the user is still able to switch the luminaries on or off via the app. This makes sense for example during commissioning. Switch off export sensors, export switches and export light control as these topics are not tested until now. After this is done leave the DALI gateway settings to apply the defined settings. It's essential to wait at least 15 minutes for the completion of the configuration. Navigate via web browser to the SceneCom web interface. Therefore use the IP address of the SceneCom controller. Step 1. Navigate to the addressing wizard and start addressing. Add a room and type in your preferred room name. Now the addressing wizard searches for unaddressed luminaries. All devices should be addressed and displayed as device type 1. Next create a group including all listed luminaries. Step 2. Group the devices. Step 3. Navigate to the emergency application of the SceneCom and do the settings according to the requirements of your installation. In this example a function test is started to test the general functionality of the system. <music>